What is going on, everyone? I am Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV. I am glad that you're back with me today because we're going to put some new accessories from Moment on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, if you're not familiar with Moment, Moment is a company that makes accessories for your smartphone, your iPhone, your, uh, your Samsung Galaxy phone, the Pixel, and all the really kind of big smartphone brands. And they make cases and they make these lenses where they will go ahead and attach to the case themselves, augmenting your camera phones or your phone's capability for taking pictures, taking video. So they have a lot of cool things. Actually, a lot of my first videos that I put on the channel here were about Moment. Now, uh, I also bought some screen protectors from Spigen. These, in my experience, have been the easiest to put on and they last long and they're relatively inexpensive. I'll make sure that I leave links down in the description below for everything that I'm talking about today. Now, uh, like I said, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max and my screen protector has been on there since I got it, I guess in November. So early November it came out, uh, and I'm gonna put that on first. Now that screen protector that I have on there came from the Apple Store, and I don't wanna say the name of the company that got it there, or I, that makes it, but you could probably put two and two together. Now this is really cool, because it comes with this very cool kit, uh, and it makes it, it makes it dead simple. Again, I'm not even kidding when I say that this is simple. Anyone can do it. All right. So we're gonna first open up this package. I want to say that this was $12.99, maybe, for two of them. Uh, possibly even cheaper. Right now, what we're doing is we're just opening up the, the little wet nap, maybe you would call it, wet nap. And we're going to wipe down the screen. I normally am someone who doesn't, or I'm normally a caseless person. So I use my phone, or I, I tend to use my phone without a case unless I am doing something like a very specific activity. Maybe I'll go to the gym, maybe I'll go out uh, walking or riding a bike. And just my luck, uh, just, I think it was Christmas Eve, I was watching movies on, uh, I was watching movies with my son and he accidentally kicked my phone off the couch. I'm like, no, it's my first scratch. So I've been using a case a little bit more often, uh, but anyways, we did it. Moving the adhesive. All right, two, press finger and slide. So that's on there right now. Gotta wait 30 seconds, maybe 10 more seconds. Cool. Basically makes the plate like almost, um, I dare I say idiot proof, but you know, this video's not over yet, so I could still look like an idiot. <laughs> and we're just gonna, boom. Right? It's, there's no air bubbles, so it looks good. Happy about that, glad that that came out good. Uh, and that I didn't look like an idiot because I would have been an idiot saying idiot proof. Now, next what we're gonna do is, this is the Moment Thin Fit case. It's available for all the devices. Now, um, there's two different versions that are out right now. There's the version that I have, which is not MagSafe compatible. Uh, and there's a version coming in the spring, which is MagSafe compatible. Now, what I would tell you is that for me, this was maybe 15 or 20 bucks, and I really didn't care whether it had MagSafe or not because I don't necessarily leave my phone in the case all the time, like I said just a few minutes ago. Uh, so I didn't necessarily mind that it doesn't have MagSafe. But if you do want something that has MagSafe, they have different versions available. Now, this is in a, I think a nice, nice color blue. I like it. I'm a fan of it. Now, if you see here, this has a ring around here and this ring can come out depending on whether or not you wanna go ahead and, and add the camera mount attachment. So that's separately, or that is can be purchased separately. Now, what you do is here is, in order to get this out, there are some alignment pins that are right here or alignment marks. I'll put that up here. So there's an alignment mark up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, push from the opposite side for have this to come out. So now the camera ring is out and in this other case that I have here. So this is the camera ring for the 12 Pro Max. And you see here, so it fits two of the cameras, obviously the main camera, it, it doesn't work with it's by design. Yep. Oh, that'll probably be good. And so what we're gonna do is, 
we're going to work this into the case starting at that corner, which is this corner right here. And we're just going to press it in. And it should be very simple, which it totally is. You hear a click and that's it. So now I can take my phone and put it in this thin fit case, which I am totally a fan of. Uh, I like the thinness of the case. I like that it's rubber. All the buttons are tactile, but they basically sit on top of the volume rocker. Here you see that the mute button is exposed. And then here there's that same kind of a button design there. On the back, it's a very, feels good. Yeah, you could hear that. And then there's all this, and this is supposed to be biodegradable, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here, an everyday case for people who love photography, uh, pri uh, sorry, proprietary plant-based material is 100% compo uh, compostable. Uh, slim design balances protection and size in removable M-series lens. Now the, the folks over at Moment, because you're using maybe like a wide lens or an anamorphic lens, you wanna make sure that the camera is calibrated correctly. So they have an app called the Moment, the Moment Camera App. And what it does is it allows you to go ahead and identify what lens you're using. All right, so here's the app. Now here in the top right hand corner, there's a circle with a letter in it and that says A for anamorphic. If I were to go ahead and click on Y, wide. Now you see here, there's also this uh, camera array or this array right here with three little dots that's identifying which one of the camera lenses you're choosing. So you could say, okay, I wanna use uh, the wide angle, I wanna go ahead and use the macro or the tight, or the uh, the tele lens. Uh, this is the 18 millimeter wide. And I'm gonna put this on top of that very first lens. And now if you see here, that's not right. Cause obviously the lens here is being obstructed by the camera that I'm at or the camera that I'm choosing. Let's go and choose that again. Nope, still not the right camera. Now this is on the, on the tele. So this is gonna be, um, let's try that here. All right, so right now, this is on the uh, the tele lens. Sorry, this is on the on the tele camera using the the eighteen millimeter wide. So it's like a tele on wide. And if I take this off, you can see. Oh, sorry, I don't know why that's coming up here. Let's take this off. And it goes back to the tele. So it gives you a little bit of uh, optionality there in terms of what you're using. But I'm going to put this on the wide lens. And I'm going to switch lenses here. Now you see here, this is like the wide use. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. You can see what it looks like. And then there's that normal lens, that 1X lens. If I put it back, I'm actually getting a wide with that perspective here. So it's actually kind of cool the way that it's set up. Now, if I were to take a picture, right, uh, all the metadata that is associated with this picture would identify it as the moment lens uh, with 18 millimeter wide. Okay, so it's a little chilly right now, but it is nice outside. So now we are recording, let's see here, USB. Yep, so we have the microphone plugged in, and now you're getting my check, my check, yep, that's working. So this is inside the Moment app, and this is on the uh, One X lens, so the regular lens that's on there, and then I also have the wide angle lens. Now if I just twist this a little bit here, you're gonna get a, uh, a shot of what it looks like without the lens. Here it is with the lens, and then without. Now if we re remount this. And then there it is again. Uh, so it actually does give you a good amount of distance on there. As you can see, depending on what kind of aesthetic and what kind of look you're going for, these lenses certainly add a nice flair to your shooting style. You know, there's a number of different lenses that are available. There's the anamorphic, there's the wide, there's the tele lens, uh, there's a super fish and a macro lens. I had to think about that one. So again, depending on what the look you're going for or how you want your videos to look, you can certainly use these for photography, you can use these for videography, and again, having them on your lens, having this with you in your person or on your person gives really just you the advantage because you can always kind of adapt to any different conditions that are out there, not just what you are limited to by the lenses that are on the phone. Now, let me know if you have any questions about these lenses. I am Mike, this is Tech247 TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and let me know if you wanna see any other content like this. Guys, I'll talk to the next one.